NASA announced they've added 14 men to the astronaut training program. Their mission remains to put the first man on the moon before the end of this decade. NBC estimates that there are more than 15 million colored television sets in use in the United States. The Public Health Service tells Congress that the sets may leak radiation and viewers should sit at least six to ten feet away. McDonald's has added the Big Mac. Miss Coralie Merriweather ran the best bake shop in these parts. Maybe in the whole state. They look delicious. Thank you. No birthday was complete without her layer cake with special buttercream frosting. When company came over, dessert always included her fluffy meringue pie. Um, I'm going to take uh, that one right there. Thank you. Thank you. 250. Some thought that Miss Coralie must have poured all of her sweetness into what she baked. Because otherwise, she was all business. Oh, there's one left. Ten cents. Wait, come back here. When Miss Coralie passed on, as many of her customers as could came to pay their respects. Neighbors were like that back then. And so we remember our sister Coralie, who lived among us for these past 72 years and made our lives richer by her talent. Some said her sponge cake was so light it could float right up to the angels in heaven. And I, I personally enjoyed her tiramisu. So smooth and creamy, and a light dusting of cocoa and a dollop of whipped cream. Oh, my. And then there were her eclairs, so light, so feathery, and, and, and filled with fresh custard and smothered in dark, rich, creamy chocolate. Oh, my. And, and, and the apple dumplings served warm with rich vanilla ice cream on the side. Just a scoop. Not so many calories. Oh, heaven is going to enjoy its desserts tonight. <laughs> She had no family, and so the Merriweather Bake Shop was sold. Gerda Stein was the first who thought she could bake in the kitchen of Miss Coralie. Oh! 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 This old oven! Oh! Oh! It's this, oh, it's this cranky and crotchety as Coralie! Nothing in this kitchen works! You know what else isn't working around here? You. Get out of my 
kitchen. The next owner seemed fearless, even when word got around that this bake shop might be haunted. Even a ghost could not resist a perfect cannoli. Perhaps a cappuccino or a latte from the wonderful new Federico's Cafe. Miss Coralie knew what she wanted. Little piggies and hold still for And she didn't want Sophie Kristoff. <coughs> and that was that. Years passed, and the bake shop sat idle. Isn't it beautiful, Maggie? That's our new home. Good morning. Good morning. Miss Merriweather. You? I'm Annie Washington. Stop rearranging my kitchen. It's my kitchen now. And turn off that horrible record player. Where is it? This is my kitchen, and I've got a lot of work to do. Hey, would you like to help? Get out of my kitchen! I've got three days. Three days. in your time, but it's my turn now. Now, I've worked on cruise ships all over the world, and no typhoon, tsunami, or shipwreck ever stopped me before, and you're not gonna stop me now. think they own the kitchen, the night can get very long. so that you can leave me to work in peace. Make me a cake. A cake so rich and sweet that I'll bring tears to my eyes. A, a cake like I would make, but nobody's made for me. And if I do that, you'll leave me alone? No more pranks? The kitchen will be yours. Piece of cake. The uh, cream's a little thin. Thank you. Actually, the top should be more puffy.
nectarines are a little soft and it's not as sweet as I like. Custard's nice. Not spectacular, but it's not bad. You are a wonderful cook, Miss Washington, but none of these cakes brought tears to my eyes. Some things are taking a little longer than I expected. We're all looking forward to your opening. Not nearly as much as I am. I've been meaning to give this to you. I've had it tucked away in the back for the longest time. She'd been here about 30 years already when I moved in. She pretty much kept to herself. Simon, can, can I keep hold of this for a while? Oh, of course. Tonight? Well, actually, today. There's just one cake. Oh. Happy birthday, Miss Coralie. Annie, how did you know? She was found abandoned in an alley two days after her birth, which authorities think was 28th of April. Nurses named her baby Coralie after the bakery behind which she was discovered. I know what it's like to be alone. That cupcake that you sold me long ago, it was my first birthday after my parents were killed. And I knew then I belonged to you. This is the change. Oh, my. Your change. Oh, my. I've been wearing it ever since to ward off ghosts. Well, how's that working out for you? Well, so far, so good. Oh, really? Present company accepted. <laughs> May I serve you some cake? Thanks. The buttercream frosting is not as rich as you normally make it. None of that matters. Baking isn't about how it turns out. It's about what you put in. Mmm. You found the recipe. I do believe I'm full. <laughs> well, <clears throat> it's your kitchen now. I'll keep our bargain. Leave you and Maggie to bake in peace. Well, wait, I, I just want to show you the new menu. Menu? Or Meriwether and Washington. Oh, no, you don't, you sly old ghost. This is my kitchen now. You just said so yourself a moment ago. Oh, have a piece of cake. Mm. Is it good? It's delicious. My recipe, right? Well, with a few tweaks. I'd say it's a collaboration. Mm. Just a spark. Can you get a flower? <laughs> no, I wanted the big piece of The bake shop opened again, and older folks around here say that somehow Miss Coralie's sweetness is back in the cakes. But nobody's guessed yet she's working in the kitchen. Still, the finest, most luscious cakes are the ones Annie and Miss Coralie bake for each other. Happy birthday, <gasps> Annie. Oh, chocolate buttercream frosting, my favorite. I was still thinking about the name. As the senior partner, <laughs> not a chance. 